432. So this is an experiment. Um, first of all, it's an album I made last year. And I think there's 10 tracks on it. And each song is 24 minutes and 40 seconds, just so they're the same length of time when I do this experiment. The point was to tune the A note to 432 hertz instead of 440. And then the original tone was just three or four seconds long. And then I used Paul's stretch to get that number. And then using the various binar binaural beats and um, using their frequency mixer a little bit, adding octaves and um, different things to it just to see what kind of shape and harmonics and things would show up on an oscilloscope and all these tuning apps on the iPad. So in this video, I just used AUM, Audio Unit Mixer, um, with, I believe, nine or ten tracks we'll see in the video in a bit. I'm watching it with you guys after I made it. So I opened up Audio Unit Mixer and then made, it, made channels. Then I added, as the input, ten different versions of YouTube, which is Tube AU Audio Unit. One thing real quick, when you click out of them, the reason I have so many open windows, if you click out of all of them, the, the, you just lose all your sound. So that's one little thing with it, but I mean, it's not a big deal, who cares? Later in the video, I'll add effects just to give the frequencies a little bit of a, a mix and see what happens on the oscilloscope. Um, I also used, uh, what do you call it, like a frequency analyzer just to see the harmonics and see if it is tuned to 432, even after going through YouTube upload, um, Luma Fusion, and the iPad is what I make this in. So, you know, once you compress it, and I just kind of wanted to see if it, it held held its own to that tone. So I used a Audio Kit Auto Tune just to see if it was actually at 432, and I made sure the tuning was at 432. Yeah, so far I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. It's it's just a weird experiment I did, kind of like uh, spiritualized uh, tones for DJs, except this is probably not listenable, but it's kind of interesting to see if it's a calming tone or not, and just selling, set, setting like 10 eye devices around the house that are playing it through Spotify or YouTube or whatever. That's why I released it through DistroKid so I could do this experiment like with different, you know, like, uh, I don't know what other accounts I have. They're through DistroKid. I'm blanking Spotify, YouTube. I don't have Napster or anything, but I can sample. I mean, I can like do like a sample section of all those, like a uh, title and all those. Here we are. Here's the page, the YouTube page. So here's all the, I really like the graphic I made for the album cover. It's <laughs> just a glitch A app on iOS, and um, I don't remember exactly how I made the, the, the lines, but I wanted to, just, to me it's like just showing uh, the frequencies are not perfect, because as you can see in the auto-tune right there, it's, it's a little shaky, and it, you know, it, but it was a pure tone when I first made it, so it was just a sine wave, flat response, you know, like 432A. I'm going to take a break for talking for a minute and just let this thing ride.
listed um, below the video, the apps that I use in this video, and where you can find this album to experiment with yourself. Um, I should say too that I realize when I'm talking that the I, I was talking a lot about it, about compression, but I don't really think that has anything to do with the varying. It's the mix of multiple tracks at once and frequencies are obviously different. Um, I need to add some information about Paul Stretch below too, so um, you can be on the same page with what was going on there. Basically it's just, it's called Paul's Extreme Stretch, I believe, and it just, it's kind of like with those videos years ago, people were like slowing down Justin Bieber and I don't remember what else, but uh, Radiohead, and they'd slow it down, and they're like, this is a great ambient piece, and it's a three minute song and now it's 35 minutes long and it would be like 80, 800% slower um, that's what they were using to do that and it's it's actually a really fun app, I uh, use it on Mac that file system is terrible <laughs> the first thing I thought of um, but yeah, I mean it does things like this too you could stretch out, make an ambient piece or like do some frequencies and tones and things and there's a frequency mixer on there um, there's some, I should do a video about Paul Stretch actually, because it's really cool. Um, so this Spectrum Analyzer, I don't normally use it. I just use the app called Scope when I'm doing oscilloscopes on the iPad. But this one's really cool because you can do the uh, spectrogram. I think that's what it's called. Ooh, the Cloud Reverb. Love this thing. Love, love, love. Just... Uh, it kind of replaced black hole reverb for me. Just black hole has a lot more things you could do with it, but this thing is amazing. This reverb just add, adds so much like depth and space, and doesn't feel like it's squashing anything. Or uh, it does mess with the frequencies a little bit. As you can, oh, you can't see it here. I did a different experiment before. Added some compression here. What else am I messing with? It's kind of fun to see back delay. I don't really think any of these effects, effects did, I can't hear the sound right now because I'm doing an overdub, but um, from my recollection of doing the video, it, it didn't add a whole lot putting effects on. Um, yeah, I'll do another break. they call it a hype enhancer and it kind of like squashes like a limiter would do but it, it squashes certain frequencies and also that directional EQ in headphones it's amazing you send like frequencies like you change the direction over the stereo field so some of these apps are just so much fun to experiment with and I can be very wrong like I haven't even used this Quattro model a long time why did I open it now <laughs> Oh my god. It's just clicking on random shit while I'm making this video. I love this thing, Replicant. Um, so good. I wish I was monitoring this. I can't even hear what's going on right now, so I'm just kind of remembering this as I watch it. Um, I did make this video a few weeks ago and put it on hold um, just because I got like set up with uh, my sense office here 
at home. So I just got locked into hardware sense for a while and the iPad was just gone. I just kind of forgot to use it other than like video editing. Love this Rough Rider too. I love all these effects. I use all these effects. They're so much fun. Some of them I don't understand. Um, ooh, this is my favorite. This is the absolute most fun. This app right here. You can be uh, Kevin Shields in like two seconds. Um, especially just using all three tape heads like maxed out and kind of messing with the delay speed kind of detunes and if you put the reverse on I mean that's kind of what my bloody valentine is isn't it <laughs> oh getting mesmerized by this graph here all right another break I'm drinking coffee and you're probably listening to me do that so that's weird boop, 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 boop. where's the button <laughs> a note in the comments that you made it this far. I'm just curious if someone will actually ever get this far. Um, sorry about the swarm of bees there. Uh, that's what it sounds like to me anyway. This whole project was just uh, fun for me. I like making albums like this that are basically for my own amusement and if somebody else likes it, good for them. Oh, there's a direction like you. IQ, EQ. Um, this thing, I don't, I, I thought it was so dumb when I first bought it, and a waste of money, and then I started like really twisting the knobs and getting a feel for it, and it's amazing. Get rid of some pans here. feels like mystery science theater honestly like watching your own video you just need to put three little shadows at the bottom there feels like this is gonna be closing out pretty soon I remember I just wanted to see like how they all sounded mixed, kind of like Zurika or something, I don't know. But it definitely, with the different devices set around the house, it sounds really cool. Like, it's a, it's alright in this app and this experiment I'm doing right now, but when you have them separate around the house, it kind of sounds like the, the house is kind of taken off. Especially if it's not just a phone, if it's going through like some speakers. Um, so I tried it with like, what do you call those, like, the JBL clip and uh, jam box, whatever other Bluetooth speakers we have sitting around. Um, yeah, and that, I mean, that sounds really cool, but you can't mix it. You just have to move them around so they're different volumes, basically. Um, so yeah, this is a fun experiment. Drinking coffee, hanging. Oh shit, some of them paused. I didn't even notice that. This is a great video. Damn to go back and listen to this. <laughs> this is experimental at the best. At its best.
recording here with just the single tone, the original tone. And you can see it's just a little sine wave circling around there. Um, hope you enjoyed this. It was a fun experiment. And I might do it again, with uh, change it up a little bit. Um, use external pieces of equipment like iPad, iPhone, maybe some recordings and field recorders. Um, it'll still be the same album, same tones and everything. Just try to show it around the house um, or outside or something just to see if it is calming in the background or whatever. All right. Thanks for watching. Hit the bell. The What else is there? Like, subscribe, all those good fun things. Cheers.